Well, hello, everybody. I have a super special guest this week. I don't think I've ever said that about anybody. I've said special guest, but not a super special guest. So I'm really honored to have Amanda Holmes here with us. I can't wait for her to speak to us and for the audience out there listening. Um, she's an amazing person. I, I'm super excited to bring her on my show. I'm really proud. So Amanda, with all that said, please take a second to say hello to the audience. Hello. Thank you so much for having me, Tony. Of course, you're super welcome. So let's dive right into it. What's the one word open that you could open up with? One word to uh, describe how you're feeling in this moment? Intrigued. Intrigued. I love it. Great. Let's uh, let's t tell us about your business. Tell us about the story um, of you know where where it evolved, where it is today, and also the new things that you're up to. Yeah. I, so um, the company is called Chat Homes International, and we basically, 95% of businesses never make it to a million in annual sales. 98% of those never make it to 10 million. And if you, you can imagine, it gets smaller and smaller as you get bigger and bigger. So we have 12 core skills that will assist business owners to go from that one mil to five, from 10 mil to a hundred and beyond. It's a different skill set at every level. So there are 12 core competencies for doubling sales. We've done it for the last 30 years. Uh, we've assisted uh, a quarter of a million businesses worldwide. And it's all based as well around the Ultimate Sales Machine, which is a book that my father wrote, a New York Times bestseller. If you haven't heard of it, it's in the top 10 most recommended sales books of all time. So that's just a little bit about what we do. Excellent. Thank you. And what are what are some of the new programs that you're up to? I know you're you're leading the organization at a different level, at a higher level. So if you could share with us what that that new, the new programs you're up to, uh, that'd be great. Yeah, I... We have, man, we have so many, but um, one that I'm currently in the midst about to film on today, as well as the next two days, is a Dream, a Dream 100 course. It's the Dream 100 is the fastest, least expensive way to double sales. This one strategy has doubled the sales of more businesses than any other. It's the concept that there's a smaller number of ideal buyers than there are all buyers. So my father came up with this working for billionaire Charlie Munger, uh, co-chairman of Berkshire Hathaway. He was able to double the sales of nine different divisions for Charlie within 12 to 15 months and several divisions doubled multiple years consecutively. So he was given a list of 2,200 different advertisers and he said, and they, they gave him the list and said, okay, start cold calling. But he thought that was a lot of people to call. So he did some research and found that 95% of the advertising that was done in the space was only by 167 of those 2,200. So he led an intensive effort on just those 167. So my question to anybody that's listening is, do you have just one big client where if you landed them, it would change your world? And what if in the next six months, you got 29 more of them? Well, that's what he did to double the sales in six months and then continued on and on. It, it was this ongoing approach because our concepts, it's not about doing 4,000 different things. Mastery is about doing 12 things. 4,000 times. That is the true key to success in business. So uh, the Dream 100 course is kind of a step-by-step, -step, everything you need to know on how to win those big fish deals and uh, double your sales in the next 12 months. That's what I'd love to see. I love it. That is so powerful. And I'm, I'm so glad that you're continuing that because it's the biggest difference maker for a lot of companies. So I, I always know I'm in the right company uh, or I have the right conversation with the right person with the mindset when, when we talk about the word you know dream client 100 dream 100 clients and if they get that because you know I, I have a lot of people uh, people that are here that are VC backed they recently got funded seven eight figures whatever it may be and now they got to fill all the seats and uh, you know off camera so to speak we always talk about they're like wow I just hired 70 people last week SDRs and uh, all this stuff. And now they got to go out there and, and, you know, they're just spinning their wheels. So I think this is a really good um, time for them to find out more about, you know, the, your methodology, your approach, uh, 
and what it, you know, that one client, like you said, could, it could be a life changing client for the organization that could, they, yeah, they could increase the, and they could get that hockey stick approach. Um, that's legitimate. Unlike things that we saw in the marketplace last week with GameStop and stuff like that. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's definitely a very important approach. It shouldn't be done by itself in a vacuum. There's definitely, you want to do your day-to-day sales too, especially if you're just starting off. Uh, You know, you want to put in your calendar, you know, four hours a day, I am doing just prospecting. If you can allot that, I would say for any starting salesperson, that's the kind of commitment you need for prospecting right now uh, if you're in that kind of situation. Yeah. Wonderful. And was that one time that your father spoke about lumpy mail? Yes. And, yes. And he, the, the business card and, and then the big box, I won't say what box it was, but do you remember that one with this refrigerator? I guess I'll say the refrigerator box was that he was number one time he was talking about how he mailed someone. I think it was him. It was like a lumpy mail. He put his business card inside a refrigerator box and just to get the, just to get the prospects attention. I'll never forget wow. that story. Yeah. I don't know so if that was my father. Really? I've never heard that one. Yeah. 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 It could have been. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'll have to, I'll have to fact check that and let you guys know and stuff like that. But really cool. So t- talk to me about some recent wins, Amanda. Tell me about some recent wins that you've had or in your organization and what you learned from it. So I c- so the audience could also learn from it. Yeah. Um, so Over the last, I'm going to give some market data just to put this into perspective. So over the last 10 years, we're seeing a shift in how people want to purchase things. It's changed dramatically. Like, for instance, the automotive industry, 10 years ago, they went to six different dealerships before they made a buying decision. Today, they go to 13 different websites and only 1.8 dealerships. So, so much of our buying decisions happen online, especially if you're, you're in B2B, the average prospect looks at five pieces of content before they even decide to, okay, I'm going to reach out to a salesperson to have a conversation. So with this in mind, over the last year, particularly over the last six months, uh, my organization has been building out um, what I would call micro funnels. So we've taken, we have 12 core competencies for doubling sales, and we've made little uh, educational Uh, micro funnels on each one of these core competencies. So how to hire and train sales superstars. So I'll have a blog leading to a uh, landing page that has a video that trains on something and then purchase our mini course. And then from there, it takes into our sales team that follows up. And um, I have this for six of our 12 core competencies. So time management secrets of billionaires. If you wanted to learn about that, we have a whole mini training course on that. If you wanted to learn about um, how to how to scale from zero to 100 million and beyond the, the three P's method, that I have a training on as well. So what I've realized is many things. So this helped double our, our sales last year um, without having to spend a dime on advertising. It was, it was just educating our current database and um, giving them options to make a purchasing decision at a small cost because you know our our coaching and consulting services are um, a bigger purchase but these are just you know nine dollar purchases forty nine dollar purchases ninety nine dollar purchases so that when my sales team is following up it's somebody that's a buyer. It's not just, oh, they've downloaded something on a website or maybe they've, you know, inquired. The relationship that you have with somebody that's downloaded something or raised their hand to say, I want to be called on is different than you are now a client. You have pulled out your credit card. I want to train every person that comes into my world. I'm going to give you great value. I'm going to give you great training, but I also want to train you that you trust me and you will pull out your credit card. You know, if we can train them to do this in in a very giving way, right? I'm very, very giving with our training. I mean, you can purchase hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of consulting for $16 with the ultimate sales machine. So I tell you, we're very giving. Um, You can even get chapter four for free, which for anybody that's trying to figure out their sales messaging, I highly recommend that. But um, this process of 
educating and giving great content and then leading to a small purchasing decision. Uh, like I said, uh, it, it, it doubled our sales last year. So that was a really great win. That's beautiful. I think to your point, you know, it builds trust and also they got skin in the game because like you said, if they're pulling out that credit card, it's rapidly trust creating trust. And there's, they're not only raising their hand, but they're like jumping in the pool, so to speak, not just testing the water with an opt-in or they're using their fake spam email address like everyone does mm -hmm. in the marketplace. But this one is like real credit card, you know, real email address. And they're going to, and then, and then when they pay for it, they were going to read it. Right. The more they pay, the more they listen. Right. And it, because it, it is, it, it just goes that way. So can we talk about your personal side a little bit, your personal? Yeah. So t tell us about your studies. I know you're, he you're heavily into a certain thing that you're about to tell our audience. I'm super excited. So if you could let us know about that, your studies, that would be great. Hmm. Um, I'm a big believer in self-realization. I believe that, um, uh, that in a, wow, how to even just summarize it. That's such a broad question. Um, <laughs> um, I, I guess I'm a believer that there, that abundance comes at many levels and there's many different definitions of what abundance can be. And I've, and I've experienced monetary abundance and I have traveled the world. Actually, I know I'm young, but I have traveled the world and study under monks and I have uh, a guru that I study under uh, Sarva Loka Ma Guruji Punamji um, and she's really assisted me to see beyond the box to let go of fears and anxieties and angers that limit us from reaching our true potential so for instance I inherited the business eight years ago when my father passed so I had no plan to take over my father's business. I was a singer songwriter. I had uh, released my fourth record. I had just come back from a tour and my father got ill. Um, so then I, I was the caregiver for him. So going from that to then he passes and all of a sudden I inherit hundreds of, of staff all double my age because, you know, we're a world renowned marketing and sales training company. So it's all coaches and consultants that, you know, really know their stuff. And here I am a 24 singer songwriter, you know, like if this is too much and it was the study that I, that I did that self-realization and understanding me, uh, that, uh, th through, through the assistance of my guru and, um, that helped me get through that and, that's the reason why CHI is here today and serving businesses around the world is because uh, I wouldn't have been able to get through the grief. I loved my father. I was very close with him. Um, and, and all of the problems that we had as an organization, I mean, you lose the figurehead. It's like a company losing the heart. All of the pieces were still there. He wasn't working in the business for many years, uh, but yeah. To, to lose the soul uh, was quite quite a feat. So I don't know if that answers your question, but uh, yeah, the work that I did with the nonprofit Divine Bliss International and uh, Guruji really really made made my company a new a whole became it, it took new life it, it took new life. Um, yeah, where to even begin? I mean. Uh, their messaging they should be able to they should be working on right uh, becoming a strategist versus a tactician which if you don't want to pay for the book maybe just get chapter four for free you can get that on my website chetholmes.com uh, yeah that teaches uh, how to get nine times more impact from every move you make by becoming a strategist versus a tactician uh, I, I would probably say that that would be if you're going to read one thing, it would be chapter four. Okay. That's really great because I know, I think we mentioned before, um, before we started recording, there's a lot of these founders that, you know, have a lot of seats they need to fill and they, they're getting the, these SDRs or BDRs and they're trying to hit these numbers now that they have to, you know, impress the investors, so to speak, and grow, you know, if they're pre-revenue, they get injection of cash. Now they got to perform and deliver 
or they're already running revenues, they have to increase their numbers and because of growth. So they're going to need a company like yours. And I'm glad that you gave them, you know, where they could go to, uh, to, for a good resource to just to kind of get a taste and then they could get into your, you know, to, um, to your organization and find out more about how you can help them and all that good stuff. So as we're wrapping it up to the end, um, if there's any uh, questions, um, two last questions. Um, is there a question, you know, when you're up there speaking, Amanda, and, you know, whether it's on, um, you know, your keynotes or your, your traveling pre-COVID or if it's a Zoom meeting webinar and the Q&A part starts, what's that one question that you wish people would be asking you that nobody ever has asked you yet? Hmm. Um... I guess uh, I, I'm a really big fan of automation and the amount that you can do to set a salesperson up for success is uncanny today. And, um, you know, I teach a lot of you know, what salespeople should say and uh, how the company should uh, present, uh, position themselves so that they're number one in their market. And, and we're really well known for that, um, putting companies into being the number one in their market. Um, but what not a lot of people have asked me yet, which I look forward to, is how do you automate that process? Like what I said for the last six months, that's just been part of my excitement uh, and passion is how much can I make the experience of a prospect the most um, joyful? I want to make them a raving fan. And um, yeah, I wish more people would ask how to do that using automation because there's so many different tools that you can use so that when a real live person gets on the phone or face to face or a zoom. Um, they are just, you know, already so high in the prospects belief, or they've already become a client, you know, I think. That, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. That was beautiful. That, that was perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. That's a huge one. No one's ever mentioned that before. So it's really powerful for you to share the automation and something, you know, how do you automate? How do you, or if you're already automating, how do you enhance it? It's kind of like the re the recent wins that you've experienced that you shared with us earlier. So how could it, if you want to give out your website address one more time and for those of the people that were driving or- Yeah. You know, them uh, well, one thing that you can do that I would recommend is you can go to ultimatesalesmachine.com. So I have a free giveaway there. It's a three video series on our three strategies to double sales. It's a formula for one hour a week. If you just spend one hour a week doing these three strategies, uh, it's, uh, each one will double your sales. So I, I highly recommend that video series, which is on ultimatesalesmachine.com. Perfect. And as we're wrapping it up, if you could take us, um, sign off with a one word close, that would be great. So tell us how you're feeling now and what is that one word close? Fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, Amanda, thank you so much for coming on to the Tony Shap show. Really appreciate you having on here and, and I appreciate you sharing the gems with us. There's some solid takeaways for me and the audience. And um, for, so this is going to be really great for people to listen to. So thanks again. And I can't wait to have you back on here soon. Thank you so much. I had a great time. <laughs>